Hello everybody and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at the horse pack that has been converted from Farm Sim 19 to Farm Sim 22. You're going to be able to download that from simplysafemods.com. This mod is available for PC only because it is not also uploaded over at the Giants Mod Hub. And as we know, mods for console are required to be posted over at the Giants Mod Hub so they can be then downloaded onto consoles. Now, before we get into the video, I want to just address the elephant in the room. The horse seat tender is indeed moving on its own. I have put it back into place, I don't know, half dozen times. And it just wants to roll on its own. We are on a bit of an incline. So yeah, I've let the mod author know. Hopefully he'll have some way of correcting that little issue. But with that, let's go ahead and take a look at this really cool piece of kit. 16 items are included in this mod pack. And when Farm Sim 22 came out, conspicuously, Horsch was rather underrepresented compared to how it looked in previous games. So what all is included? Let's go ahead and take a look at the shop. And the best way to find the things that are included with a mod pack is going to be to check out the new section, mods and DLCs in the shop. Right down here, this is the icon we're going to want to look at. And then we can go to the horse pack. Remember the old days where we had to either find brands and run through all of the horse items that way, or iterate through all the various categories and just hope that we landed on all of the various categories that were included in a particular mod pack. But not anymore. Now we can just come down here to mods and DLCs, and there we go. Everything that is included in this pack is in one place. So what is included in the pack? Well, we have the horse slurry tank with tracks, $55,000. This particular tanker holds 21,000 liters of slurry or digestate, weighs 8.8 .8 tons, requires 210 horsepower to operate, and has a working speed of 10 miles per hour. We do have one configuration option, and that is main color, where we can change the color of the frame and the pipes. Now, in combination with the slurry tank, we can use the Porsche drag hose 36 meter or the injector 12 meter attachments. So the drag hose 36 is a 36 meter drag hose that would attach to our slurry tanker, weighs two tons itself, has a working speed of 10 miles per hour. And we can also change the color of the frame to match our slurry tank. If drag hoses aren't your thing, then you can go to the 12 meter injector. This increases the weight of the slurry tanker by 2.3 tons, requires an official or an additional 50 horsepower to operate. As I said, is 12 meter working with. And we have the choice of Trillerberg or BKT tires. We can change the main frame color once again to match our tanker. And we have the choice of rim color, should we so want. We move on to the slurry tender 2100. This slurry tender will hold 21,000 liters of slurry or digestate, weighs nine tons, has 170 horsepower requirement. You can use a semi to haul this or a dolly to transport this around. Has a top speed of 49 miles per hour, interesting enough. We have a choice of Lizard or Continental tires, and we do have the ability to put a license plate on the back. Moving on to the Shuttle 2. This is a Horsch uh, Seed Shuttle or a very small auger wagon. It holds 2 point, or 2,200 liters of product. Weighs 500 kilograms, and as you can see, it holds seed, solid fertilizer, or any of our grain crops from wheat, barley, oat, canola, sorghum, sunflower, soybeans, or corn. This particular item we can get with either a front loader attacher 
or a telehandler attacher. And we can change the main color like so. Then we move on to the seed tender. That is the item that keeps wanting to slide around in front of us. The seed tender is $21,200. It comes with this little three trailer dolly that you can use to store it on. But ultimately, this is not how you are transporting it around. It actually will connect to any truck that has a fifth wheel hitch. And we're going to demonstrate how that works. So this holds a total of 10,000 liters worth of product, and it holds it in two separate chambers. So you can have seed in one or both, and fertilizer in one or both. Then we move on to the Shuttle 8, $16,200. This is very similar to the seed hopper. It allows you to transport liquids and connects to any fifth wheel vehicle. Holds 8,000 liters worth of product, 3.9 tons, and has a total working speed of 40, or total operating speed of 49 miles per hour. We move on to the Horsch Titan 34 auger wagon. You see that this auger wagon requires 280 horsepower to operate, 34,000 liters of capacity, 7.6 ton weight, and will hold all of our grains from wheat, barley, oat, canola, sorghum, sunflower, soybeans, corn, seed, and fertilizer. We have a choice of crawler track or standard tires. Then we have a choice of main color. And then we have a choice of rim color if we have the standard tires. Moving on, we have our first, first Porsche Cedar in the Evo 12.375. This Cedar requires 320 horsepower to operate, 10,000 liter storage tank for seed and fertilizer, 11 miles per hour top seeding speed, 12 meter working width, and weighs 9.2 tons. The choice of Trelleberg Standard or Narrow Twin Tires. We go to Michelin Standard or Narrow Twin Tires. BKT Standard or Narrow Twin Tires. Continental Standard or Narrow. Midas Standard or Narrow. Vertistein Standard or guess what? Narrow. And back to Trillberg, we have the choice of main color once again to change the frame. Design color will change the color of our seed and fertilizer hoppers. And then rim color will obviously change the color of the rims. Moving on to our second seeder in this horse pack, we have the Serto 12SC. $153,000 for this one. 13.2 meter, or sorry, 12 meter working with 13.2 tons, 11 mile per hour operating speed. This also once again holds seed and fertilizer and has 300 horsepower operating requirement. If I happen to have not said that already, this will work with seed, sorry, will work with wheat, barley, oat, canola, soybeans, sorghum, oilseed radish, and grass. Inside here, we have lots of configuration options. We have Trelleberg tires, BKT tires, Michelin tires, Vertistein, and back to Trelleberg. We have our main color once again to change the frame, design color to change the seed and fertilizer hopper, and then rim color to change, that's right, the colors of the rims. Moving on, we have a pair of planters. We have the Horsch Mestiro SW1675, $159,000. This planter will plant our corn, sunflower, soybeans, sugar bee rash, and cotton. This will hold seed and fertilizer once again. Has an operating speed of 9 miles per hour, 12 meter working width, 10.1 tons, and holds 9,000 liters of seed. Requires 220 horsepower. As far as configuration, we have Trelleberg tires, BKT tires, Continental, Michelin, Midas, Vertistein. We have the choice of main color, 
And we have the choice of design color. And then we have the choice of rim color once again. Moving on to our second planter in this pack, we have the the Mastero SW2475. This one is a little bit bigger. This has a working width of 18 meters, 11 mile per hour working speed. Seed and fertilized are also accepted in this one. 9,000 liter total capacity and requires 270 horsepower to operate. Once again, we have Trelleberg in standard or narrow, single narrow. We have then twin narrows, BKT standard, single narrows or twins, continental standard, single or twins, Michelin standard, single or twins, Midas standard, single or twins, Vertistein, guess what, standard, single or twins, and we have main color once again, design color, and a rim color, just like that. But wait, there is more. That's right, we have the Horsch Lieb PT350 self-propelled sprayer. This is for herbicide and liquid fertilizer. This has 354 horsepower engine, 480 liter fuel tank, 37 mile per hour top speed, with a seven mile per hour operating speed. This has a boom that reaches out 36 meters in width, weighs 13.8 tons empty. And we have a choice of Trillaber tires, Michelin tires, Continental tires, Midas. We have the choice of main color, we have a choice of design color, and we have a choice of rim color once a Again. This also has the ability to put a license plate on the back. And that is it. Moving on, we have the horse fertilized spreader. The tanked, or the, not the tank, the, the tracked version. This, was, this is what happens when I try to talk fast. This brain doesn't keep up. We have the tracked version. We can change the main color here. And then this will hold 10,000 liters of product, weighs three meters, has a spread width of 36 meters, and will take lime and fertilizer. We have the Flegel DHKA390 trailer. It is good with several bulk fill types, as you see them scrolling down here below. $55,000 for 43,000 liters worth of capacity and four and a half ton empty weight. We have a choice of Trelleberg, Michelin. We have design standard or Transfarmer. We have the main color. Then we have our design color. And then we have our license plate on the rear. Now, this is something that I don't really recall being a part of the horse pack. I don't really recall the Flegel trailer being a part of the pack either. But at any rate, this is kind of interesting. And you can see the help desk text. A dolly serves as a link between a semi trailer and a tractor. This dolly is specifically designed for use with the Flegel EHKA390 and may not work with other trailers. So this thing is pretty interesting. And I have to say, the only reason I can come up with the use of this is to use that trailer on the field. And since we have tracks, we're going to have a lower compaction rate on our soil. And therefore, we won't be compacting our soil or rutting our soil near as much. We do have the ability to change the frame color on this, should we so wish. And that, my friends, is the entire pack. Wow, that was a lot. Now, let's see how some of this cool stuff works. And we might as well take a look here at the sea tender since it's front and center all of a sudden. And it's pretty slick the way this works. We're going to need a semi-tank or a semi-truck. 
So I have my Mac Superliner here. I'm gonna pull up the F1 menu so you can see the text as it comes up. What we need to do is pull up alongside the C tender and you'll see something pop up. Transform C tender. Watch this magic. We're gonna hit R and it just shifts. Now it's over connected to us, connected to the truck. If we go back to the little little dolly, we can hit R again, and it shifts it back, if you will. It works best if something's attached to the uh, the little dolly, so it doesn't fly around so bad. At any rate, now let's take a look at the C tenders operation. You can see I have it loaded with seed and fertilizer. The F1 menu, we have pipe out seed. So if I hit pipe out, okay, now I'm gonna be able to dispense seed or dispense from the left container. If I hit pipe out again, now I'm gonna be able to dispense from the left container. And you can see, maybe, maybe you can see down there the, the door is lifted. If I hit pipe in, it's going to fold it up. I'm going to hit it again. You can see the door there is open for the seed side. I'm going to hit it again. Now it's open for the fertilizer side. I'm going to hit it once more. And it's going to fold it all back up. Now we could, if we had a telehandler with a good weight on it, we could also just detach this from the truck like we just did. And then we can come here and pick up the unit with those little fork areas because now it's technically detached. If you can see up there in the little icon, we have the truck icon and that is it. If I hit Q, now I'm reattached and we're ready to go again. The same holds for our water tanker or our liquid tanker, I should say put this back and demonstrate the liquid tanker same general process transform and now we have ourselves a semi tank with liquid pump on the back as far as what does that take, let's go find out. So taking a closer look at this mod, this mod will hold liquid fertilizer, herbicide, water, and milk. Let's go ahead and just put that over here, out of the way. And we'll come and grab the next cool little bit of kit, which is the small shuttle. We have it configured here with a front loader attachment and I have it full of seed. We can hit in to uncover and we can cover it back. So we can use this to fill up or top off a cedar, should we so wish. Put it over here and disconnect it. Now, I think everybody is curious about this trail lifter. So let's go ahead and connect to that. And the way this works, you can see the you see the fifth wheel attachment here. Hold on. There you can see the fifth wheel attachment. We need to unfold the trailer. And it will then spread the whole chassis out such that it can now accept the semi-tanker or semi-trailer. The trailer can be transported with a traditional semi, should you so wish, but what's the fun in that? So 
we want to back up to this thing and hit attach and now we have a semi trailer attached to the trail lifter you can see it's up off the ground its wheels are not making contact and like I said the way I see this is it's designed to allow you to use the trailer in the field but not have the compaction or the risk of rutting up the soil with the tires you when you want to disconnect you just hit Q drops the landing gear and now we can pull on out we can fold this thing back up when we are done using it Let's go take a look at one of the cedars. Is this a cedar or a planter? This is going to be one of our cedars. We're going to fold it. Hit in to open the lid. We hit in to open the other lid. Then in once again to close it down. We have really cool animations on our lid opening and closing just like that now let's take a look at our sprayer and you can see with the f1 menu this sprayer is able to do the variable spray width in farm sim 22 where we can change the working width or even change which side is active or not active now when you unfold this there is a very long animation that you need to wait for see this actually happening right here we're going to hit unfold first thing happens is the wheels spread out then the latch lifts up and the whole boom raises off its cradle and then it starts to spread its wings so when you unfold this you really need to be a little patient for it to complete its operation there we go left click we can raise and lower the boom by going up and down and like I said this will work with the variable spread width control Y to change the steering mode from front steering to all wheel steer control Z to go down the various working widths turning on and off various sections and then if you have mapped the individual controls for the left and right side as I shown in another how-to video then you can also change that Now let's go ahead and continue our look at the fertilized and lime spreader. You see it also has the variable spray capability. 36 meter working width, open the cover. Close the cover. There's no unfold animation on this one, but again, we can do control Z and change the working width down from 12 meters all the way up to 36. If we happen to have the key binding set up, we can also set it up to have a narrower spread on the left or the right, or even turn off a particular side. I don't know if we really need to look any further at the cedars or planters, but there they are. And we have our auger wagon here, pretty straightforward, pipe in pipe out cover uncover
And then probably the last thing that I want to take a look at here is the slurry tank. We have it attached here with the drag hose. Unfold that. Tank the wheel, the tracks spread out first. Then we have to go to the spray boom and then unfold it. This does have the double application rate capability because it is a slurry or digestate spreader. So we can activate that with the comma button. Activate normal or double application rate. We can lower, raise the drag hose. Again, and then we can fold it up. And we can come to our slurry spreader and fold it up. That then pulls the tracks in for road transport. So guys, that is the Horse Pack. Like I said, it is available for download over at simplysafemods.com. It includes 16 new pieces of kit. I know I'm gonna like using the seed hopper here because, well, we really don't have a small seed tender available in the base game. So this has a capacity of 10,000 liters. We can hold 10,000 liters of seed, 10,000 liters of fertilizer, or 5,000 liters of each. And until next time, happy farming.